Welcome to the behind the scenes. Welcome to Stephen King's crib. <laughs> it's a long time coming, this one. This suggestion has been around for a long, long time. You're John Doe with my deadlights, and you're about to fall from a new height. Is it weekend you lost every fight to a night who wears underwear over his height? It is um Saturday, and we're filming Pennywise tomorrow, and we, we don't have it recorded yet. We recorded Joker and filmed him last weekend, and uh, we're going to record Pennywise tonight. What just happened? We just got Pennywise. We spent a long time getting into the mind of a crazy clown, and I wrote it, and I wrote it. Oh, yes, yeah. Okay. Based on your fear, the main attraction every 27 years. This beat is made by Epistra. He's a producer we've worked with in the past, and he makes these great, big, triumphant, orchestral, epic sounding beats. Epistra, epic sounding beat. Is that, is that what it means? He made Martin versus Tolkien. Caesar versus Shaka Zulu. Zeus versus Thor. This is the beat, we can take a look at it. Uh, these are all the stems. And one thing we love about working with Epistra beats is they're so clean. Everything sounds exactly the same when you hear it all together. And you can see all these little pieces. And then it rocks. hiding in the green room with the lights off in the dark with just the glow of my phone and I was holding a balloon and I wanted to scare somebody and nobody came in. As yeah, it's because everyone saw you go in there and turn yeah. the lights off. Did you? <laughs> when I came in, everyone was like, don't go in there, Lloyd's being, <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd's being super weird. The Pennywise outfit did so much of the work for me and it was the hair and makeup, I have to say. The outfit, of course, Morgan crushes it, but we were able to buy that outfit intact pretty much. The boots, super pimp. Congratulations to Morgan for being nominated for a streamy for best costumes. Good job, Morgan. I did it. Wait, oh. you move your thumb a little bit. No, if you move your thumb, they'll be able to see me a little bit. But the hair and makeup, our new hair and makeup artist, Brielle, she painted my face all white, but then the headpiece was two prosthetics. One went on the front, and then one went in the back. We definitely wanted that bulge in the back of back of the head. Please don't do anything weird with that statement. I'm just saying that I like the bulge in the back of the head. And to be able to blend that so it didn't look like there was a bump is crazy hard to do and she just knocked it out of the park. And once I had that outfit on, I was a crazy evil clown. I don't know why I'm not getting more Tinder dates. This is my Tinder profile photo and I don't know, it's not a lot of hits. And then on top of that, we had the teeth, those buck teeth first. And then secondly were those sharp ass teeth. You get wax and you put it on the inside of those fake teeth and then you bite down on it and the wax molds around your actual teeth. So then you can actually talk and move it. So we're gonna put these dentures in. We're gonna get the arc correct, by heating them up, putting them in his mouth, taking them out, letting them cool. And we'll do that for the top and the bottom. You throw these plastic beads in there. Two thirds for the top. Let them get clear, roll them into a little snake. Push them into the arch of the denture that you just made. Push those onto his upper teeth. Pull them out, let it cool. Do the same for the bottom with the last third of the beads. Push them in, pull them out, let it cool. Chim, 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 chim. And then uh, he should be able to wear them. All right, we ran out of tape. <laughs> <laughs> and once I got into that outfit, I was an evil f clown. Evil clown! Yeah, Don't make scary. no beef, no beetle beef. Bitch. Jeez Louise. <laughs> But it did look very cool. I thought he looked so creepy. Are you jokey? You want a rep? Hi, jokey. Ugh. Ugh. What's up, bitches? The holidays are upon us. So what better time than now for an ERB Black Friday merchandise sale? ERB t-shirts, 25% off. ERBmerch.com, special code Megabomb. Andy, what do you have here? It's a fan. It's a fan. <laughs> we ordered this last time because we had never seen them before. I can wear this all day. It's pretty nice. It's not for you. So okay. just turn that off. Okay. 
Hello, my name is Andy. I am the gaffer on ERB. My job title means I am in charge of the lighting department. And on ERB, it's very small, so the lighting department is just me. So season six of ERB is actually, for me, it feels a lot different than the previous seasons because the scale of it's actually a lot smaller. We used to shoot on a bigger stage with bigger lights, a lot more equipment. There would be more crew as well. This season feels a lot more intimate and more indie and it feels a lot more creative in a lot of ways too. Now that it's scaled down more, it feels more like a bunch of friends hanging out, but we're still doing really creative things. Do, what, do some... I can't do it. Wow! Since we've worked on bigger productions and stuff, we have that knowledge now that we can apply to this shoe, which is great because we're able to shoot these much more efficiently and I think they look better, even though we're using a lot less gear. And I just love everyone that I work with now. Everyone's super cool and chill. Thanks so much to our patrons for supporting us on these videos. The extended BTS there. Really, in big part because of you guys. If you want to join our Patreon, check it out. Patreon.com slash ERB. There's extra BTS, there's extra demos and writing and all that kind of stuff. It's really fun, so check it out, bye. Peanut yeah. butter and banana shake with no bananas cause those can eat a dick. Wait, what? <laughs> the bananas? You ordered a peanut butter banana shake and you said hold the bananas. Yeah. Pro tip, picky eaters out there. Just say you're allergic. Then you don't have to explain yourself. And then they also don't forget. Sounds like lying to me. You shut up. Sounds like lying. <laughs> you shut your mouth. <laughs> it's not lying. <laughs> But it is a lie. <laughs> if I hate something, I can say I'm allergic to it. Kant would say it's better to die than tell one single lie. Who said this? Kant. Emmanuel Kant. I yeah. can't understand why anyone would listen to this. <laughs> Come on, that was way too easy. <laughs> I mean, look at that, he's laid that one up for me. Scrub and if I drop bars, I take smiles and I leave scars. Cards and Arkham will admit that the Joker just killed it. So Joker was complicated because even though he wears a purple suit, it was starting to reflect blue. So I was like, oh, that's no problem. We'll be on the green screen. And it was Morgan who pointed out to me, you can't be on a green screen, you have green hair. When you shoot stuff that's green on green screen, it just disappears. And when you shoot stuff that's blue on blue screen, it just disappears. So here we were, green hair, blue suit. What do we do? I found this kid on the internet, a young man, doing something on a red screen. And I had never heard of that before. And I was like, maybe we'll do a red screen. Let's try it. So we set up a red screen and we did camera tests of a blue screen, a green screen, and a red screen and tried everything. The red screen didn't work. With the red, it did strange things to his face because human skin is kind of the red territory. And so what eventually happened is we had to go back, we put the blue screen back up, threw on the purple suit, and it was okay, it was working. Computers are pretty fancy these days, so we just keyed out everything very carefully. So we ended up on a blue screen. Always kind of a unique challenge when you have to do a different color behind you. So unless you've got a yummy younger brother, I think you'd better run, because I've got 99 red balloons, bitch. And they're gonna take one. So we picked up 30 balloons with helium, so they float. Put like five balloons into the ceiling. Ah! God dang it. A lot of times, Everybody else is the reason why we go slow. Today it's me. That's okay. I look good. Which is fine. I think Morgan made a device to put at the end to pop the balloons when necessary. I made a device with tape at the end to retrieve the balloons. So, you know, there's people who think about how can we continue joy, and then there's people who just pop that joy. Bill? No? Oh, hey, Greg. Come on in. Hey. Here? Yeah, yeah, take a seat. All right, what's going on, man? Uh, did you have a good weekend? Yeah, I had a great weekend. You? Yeah, great. Um, oh man, um, you're doing great. Thanks. I, I really like working here. Yeah, all your work is really good. Great. Everything, all the work, all the literal product that you produce, the people that you talk to, everything is good. That, that's great to hear. Thanks so much. I mean, I, I like my job, so. Uh, easy. Well, here's uh, here's the problem. This is just a small. Yeah. Um, you know, um, you're not fitting into the the culture that we're building here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I I'm, can you, I don't know. I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, I, I'm no. not so, sure how to handle that. But. Um, you you walked over to the office area right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, did you see anybody that wasn't wearing like a polo or a button up or like a businessy? Mm, no. Right. So that's our culture. 
And you're, um... I, I'm, I'll just stop you right there. I mean, if you just, if you just want to, is there something you just want to say to me? I mean, I was hoping, I was hoping this would be amicable, but, um, yeah, you're a fucking clown, bro. Yeah, you're a weird fucking clown, and it's freaking everybody out, alright? No one else has said anything to me. Everyone has said everything to me. Everyone is afraid of you, bro. Why are they afraid of me? I'm the friendliest guy in the world. Look I brought... at you. What about? Look I at you. Help who I am, Bill. Okay. Well, you don't have to put that makeup on in the morning. Yes, I do. It's a part of who I am. Look, you have a ponytail, and you're 33 years old. <laughs> That's a weird thing. That's not, it's not that weird. Come on. Weird. Look, I don't. Maybe, maybe, I should, maybe we should talk to HR or something like that because I kind of no, feel no, like no, this no, is no, an apartment no, no, thing. No, no, no. We don't need to bring HR to like this. You know, no, because now it's weird. Oh, it's not. We, it's not weird. I was just trying. I'm trying to give you a heads up on what's coming. Is that a head? Is that a head joke? No, well, I, I. You know what? Fuck you, Bill. I don't need this. Oh, no, fuck you, Grace. Fuck you, Bill. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> we just got done. We all did a great job. It's always nice to get your head cut open. Hope you guys all have a happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching the videos. Have a good time with your families. Eat a lot of turkey. Sweet dreams. <laughs>